So hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It was really cold last night, we had loads of fog and mist and I couldn't even see my breath, breath this morning. Um, I've decided to go out and hit one of the little tiny rivers slash streams that I've started fishing recently in the woods. You can see I'm in the, in the woodland right now. Uh, we're going to traipse down, try and find the river uh, and then I've got my waders on today. So fingers crossed um, I'll be able to navigate the majority of this river and fish the majority of it as opposed to the certain swims I can actually get to. Um, I'm going to fish some little uh, ultralight laws and maybe some spinners as well, some small spinners because uh, obviously there's chub, there's also a chance of a big trout in here, there's not many but there is a chance of a big trout too. Got a brand new spinning setup with me, uh, another ultralight spinning setup so that's going to be really cool to get some fish on that, it's a short one so it's perfect for this sort of uh, jungle warfare kind of fishing uh, where you want a short rod. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to make it down to the water right now and fingers crossed we'll get some fish on the bank and I'll go for my setup in a little bit. Before I get started, I've got to choose a law to begin with before I get in the water. I am really, really tempted for one of my old faithful little X wraps. I have got some new laws to use today. But I am tempted. Or even an ultralight minnow, especially that colour. This muddy water might actually do quite well. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go with the ultralight minnow to start. Whoa, that is deep for this tiny little. Creep. There's a fish right there. There's a chub right in front of me. Got it, we got it. Oh my God. How cool was that? How cool was that? First swim of the session. Come on. A brand new rod. Loads of backbone in this one gram rod. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I thought it'd come off then. Oh, I got the up caught in the net. How super is that? First fish caught, and it is a stonking chub from this tiny little stream. This tiny little biddy river. Brand new setup. First one I tried, the chub was right in front of me. I didn't even realise where he came from. It just appeared out of nowhere. Slam me ultralight minnow. Beautiful fish to start off with, and it's probably a chub of about three pounds from this tiny little river. Absolute beautiful fish. Well, I'm going to start to move upstream now, so I'm going to put on this bait, which is called a flat wrap. It's in rainbow trout pattern, slightly larger bait than the one I've just caught a chub on. Um, but I'm walking upstream, so I kind of want something that's going to have quite a bit of action. I think the chub will still smash that, obviously. Um, and when I get to an area where I think it's a bit slower and a bit more steady because it's a bit faster than I've got on a smaller bait or maybe even a spinner bait or something. I'm going to start wandering up river now. I didn't realise how deep the silt was in this river. I got in, got in an area which was maybe about a foot deep and ended up being in about three foot of silt, if not more. Absolutely horrendous, so we'll see how we get on in this river today. It is up a little bit as well. I'm going to slowly walk upstream, casting in front of me. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, I missed it. What was that? Oh, it was a, it was a good job. You felt the hooks as well. Damn it. How quick was that after the last fish? You can see it flaring its gills. It must have just pricked itself on the hook when it hit it. It's come to an area of the river. There's a little shallow roach there. It's nice seeing something else other than chub, minnows and little jack pike in here. Loads of roach. But it's completely blocked. I'm going to have to try and either climb over all this or get out and go around, I think. Damn it. This is a real effort. I've been trying to climb over all these trees that are collapsed in the water. God, it's a pain. Oh, we made it. I didn't think I was going to have to do any of this today. Oh, I got stung up like mad by nettles. Oh, 
on the river. God damn, that was an effort in and half. Let's get in the water. Looks silty as hell down here though. I bet you there's about three or four foot of silt when I get into this water. It's right on a bend. So you know all the d silty deposits going to end up around this corner here. But hey how if I sink underneath, um, at least it's on GoPro. <laughs> at least I've got some good footage. There we go, there we go, it's a chub, it's a nice chub. Only just, just took that back hook. Wait a minute, it's attached to me. That's a nice chub too. Oh, don't come off, don't come off. It's on a little ultra like me now. Yes! Oh, he just spat it in the net, he was just hooked. And this, believe it or not, not necessarily this pattern or size, but the X wrap in general, um, has just caught me so many good. I'd say this is my favorite, all time favorite hard bait I think I've ever used. This past couple of years, I've had some of my biggest trout on it, chub, big perch on the on the larger size X wrap. God, just a killer, absolute killer. Well, just using a small size X wrap, probably my all time favorite little hard bait to use. And I caught another cracking chub from this wild forgotten stream. Let's have a look. These fish look almost untouched. Look at the quality of this fish. Not a single scale out of place. Absolutely beautiful and probably about three pounds, similar size to the first one. Absolutely crushed it. I love these little stream chub. They're just absolutely remarkable fish. Full of beans, super aggressive. And that is a beautiful fish. Let's get it back. Not, I'm going to get a close up with a big camera for this one because he's so active. He just wanted to go. Right, I'm changing baits all the time. So now I'm going onto a blue fox spinner. Um, just because there's some deep holes up here. Or a deep hole. Um, where my other baits were so slow sinking. I couldn't really get down to the bottom of the hole. Well, oh my god, that was deep so. Um, couldn't get down to the bottom of the deep hole with them baits to search for any fish that might be towards the bottom. So. I put on a spinner, obviously heavy, I can let it sink down to the bottom if I want to. I'll just give this a go in a couple of these deeper swims. There we go, there we go. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a perch. Nailed that spinner. It's like two tone. What's going on? What's going on with its head? Some really weird colorations on it. Oh, we'll just we'll hand mine this one. It's a good size one, though, for this river. God, that's a proper chunky perch. That is a nice fish. Bit of a weird pigmentation on its head. That's really cool. That's a good size perch. That might be close to 40 centimeter. Nailed on the um, the blue fox spinner. Yeah, definitely a lot smaller than my original estimate. It's a 36 centimeter, super fat fish and really healthy, and that was a good release. <laughs> Looks really chubby here. Looks perfect for a chub. Oh, there's some nice weed in the edge there. It's creating a slack water down the left hand side. There we go. Oh, that was a big fish. Oh, we missed it. That was a really nice fish. That thing tried to pull my arm off. Jeez, he really slammed it. That must have been a chub, but it might have been a rogue trout, because there is a trout in here. There we go. Oh, I missed it again. There we go. We got it. Oh, it's a pike. God damn it. Trust it to be a pike. Even pike don't normally slam it that hard. I thought it had to be maybe a chub or a trout. Just on the blue fox spinner. Multi-species session. Chub, perch and pike all within the first hour. Just on the blue fox spinner there. Awesome fish. Nice dog, didn't have to get the pliers out for that either. Beautiful jack pike. Proper multi-species session. That's the first pike I've caught on a spinner in ages. It's a really nice catch. Just let him go down here. God, he made me jump. He's swimming around there, look. <laughs> Thought he was gonna be a bit slower than that. Right, even though, I'm changing baits so often. 
even though I've just caught a fish on this blue fox spinner and I've just caught a couple of perch on it, um, I know there's a good chub swim just up here. There's a bend and it's a lot deeper. I think, I don't know if it's there or if it's a bit further up, but I know there's some chub there and I know that they'll prefer, well, I, I think they prefer a hard bait. I'm actually going to go down there with this bait, the flat wrap. I did put this on right towards the beginning of the session and lost a chub on it. It did hit it and I just didn't get hooked up. So we try it for the chub now. See, there are some big chub in that swim too and we'll see if we can get one. There we go. Oh, lost the fish. Oh, it's come back. It's come back. There we go. We got it. We got it. Oh, is it a chub? Another nice chub. That's on the bigger bait that was. For some reason, I had a feeling that the chub was going to like a slightly bigger bait. I'm probably not going to net it because I don't want to get those loose hooks caught in the net like I did with the first fish. There we go. On the flat wrap. Slightly bigger bait. Only just hook look. Just one point in that fish's mouth. Just give him a little rest. What a beautiful chub, another one. That's chub number three. I've had two perch and a pike so far, and I've been fishing probably just over an hour. <laughs> I've been fishing maybe an hour and a quarter or something like that. So I always get a look at the new setup. This is obviously the brand new setup I've started using today, which is a Psycho Perch, um, rated one to eight gram, I believe. Just a little ultralight rod for this kind of stream hopping in. Boom, had some fantastic fish so far. Look at that. Can't ask for any better than that, can you? That's another chub, very similar size to the first one. Maybe a bit smaller. Uh, maybe just over, maybe two and three quarters. Something like that. Beautiful fish. I'm not going to get the big camera out for this fish. Just because we've already taken a look at a couple of nice fish today. But that is, yeah, it's probably about three pound again. Another beautiful big chub from such a small river, such a small venue. So it's time to go out with a little X wrap again. In an area where it narrows and it looks a bit deeper and there's loads of trees. I don't want anything that's gonna get snagged up too easily. Proper jungle warfare going for years trying to find fishes. It's like a good area for big fish here though. There's loads and loads of minnows. Absolutely thousands of them. It's a great sign. Up some big fish around here. Waiting to prey on the minnows. Big fish. Got it, we got it, we got it. That's a good sized chub. It's a good sized chub. I knew there had to be a fish here, it looks perfect for him. Still a little. Oh, he crushed it too, proper crushed it. On the little X wrap. Oh, yeah, he made that bait disappear. That is the biggest one of the session. Would you just look at the way he hit that bait? Just peekabooing out his mouth there. That is so cool. There we go. Now this I think is probably by far one of the best looking chew I've ever caught. And the all off on this little river. They're all absolutely pristine quality fish. Just like this. And this is probably one of the biggest ones I've caught. He's, I thought he was bigger than he was at first. It's probably, once again, maybe a three and two thirds, something like that. Just over three and a half, maybe. Beautiful chub. I've really been, I've, I've been loving these species recently. God, they're so good to catch in autumn time. Let's let him go. He's very eager. I'm actually going to face this guy downstream because uh, there is some more chub upstream. I want him to go in that direction. 
See you later, buddies. Shooting down the reeds there. So after I hooked that chub, it actually he spooked some more chub out from the margin when I hooked him. I don't know where they've gone now. I'm trying to keep my profile low. There we go. We got another one. We got another one. We lost it. God damn it, that was so fast. It's because I'm so excited. I'm not. Didn't strike at the right time. There we go. There we go. That's a smaller one. That's a smaller one. We got it. Oh, look at that rod bend. It's so cool. That was so cool. Let's get him quickly landed. Beautiful chub, definitely not the biggest one down there. In fact, it was probably one of the smaller ones in that shoal. There was some real big fish there then. One last look at this one. This is the smallest chub so far of today. Still pristine like all those other fish I've caught though. Probably a fish of a couple of pound. All right, let's get him back. See if we can get maybe one more. I might pack up soon because we've had a fantastic session. I don't really need to be out any longer. <laughs> that is so, so cool. Oh, let's quickly let him go. See, he's feisty. They're all so feisty. Man. I don't think I'll be able to get one more, but we're going to try anyway. I always get lucky when I'm using a new setup. And today it's using the Psycho Perch from Akuma. There we go. We've got another one. We've got another one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yet again, another beautiful job. We've got another one, we've got another one. That's the biggest one from this swim, or one of the biggest ones. God, that's a good size fish, that's a good size fish. And that is another beautiful fish, absolutely stunning fish. This is too much fun, too much fun. Yeah, I think that is it now. <laughs> I think my spell of amazing luck is over. There we go, there's another one. There's another one. I did not think I was gonna get another fish out of this swim. Oh, it's a trout. It's a trout, it's a real good sized trout. It's a real good sized trout. Oh my God, <laughs> it's a banging trout. Come on, come on. Come on, no, 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 no. God damn, these things pull harder than Chub do. This is a real nice sized trout, I can't believe that. Just go in the net, just go in the net. Yes! Oh, and a <laughs> great big wild brown trout. Yes! <laughs> I can't believe after all the chub I caught, I go and catch a great big wild brownie. And they're in season, in season, so I can take pictures and stuff. Just measured it, we'll take one last look at it before we let them go. Super aggressive, super healthy. Bang on 50 centimetres. I mean, is that a big trout? I don't catch trouts, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> you guys can let me know in the comments. 50 centimetre brown trout after catching three chub almost back to back with a few lost ones in between. What a beautiful capture. I cannot complain of that. He's got a, a beak mark in his side. I think it's definitely a beak mark, the way it's punctured through, um, where a cormorant might have had all of it, but he's doing really well. And he's allowed me to catch him. And he's given himself a real quick release. That's how active these fish are. They're so aggressive, um, super fired up, even once you've caught them. And you think they're tired, they still want to go. Same for the chub. And the, ch the trout has acted no differently. And he's fired off and all. That is so cool. I think I might call it wraps in a minute. I, I can't warrant staying out any longer. What's the point? I'm just, I'm just taking the miss, make the answer. If I stay out longer and catch some more fish, I'm just taking the pee. <sighs> right, I'm gonna give a long thought as to whether I want to go home or not. I've been here just over two hours. I fished this river just over two hours and I've caught maybe seven chub, all of which apart from one over three pound, two perch, a pike, and a potential personal best brown trout. Personal best in land. So, <laughs> can't ask for any better than that, could I? I mean, sure, I could wade further up there. I might catch some more fish. Or I might wade for the next half an hour and I might not find another fish. So, uh, I might call it quits soon. I can't complain, can I? So, if anyone wants to check out the setup that I've used, I'm going to leave it all down in the description and all the baits that I've used. It's worked incredibly well today. Real, real cool session today. I couldn't have asked for it to go any better, could I? 
incredible. I don't know how many chub I've caught, maybe seven or eight, um, averaging three pound on this tiny little stream. Um, and then a cracking great big trout to finish the session off. And for a wild brown trout, I think that's a pretty good size fish. I think that's 50 centimeters that I measured in at. So a really amazing days fishing. Like I say, everything I've used today will be down in the description below. Please feel free to subscribe. We're going to be hitting 100,000 subscribers very soon. I'm talking in a few weeks time, which is incredible. And thank you for all you guys for your support. It's been amazing. Um, and I'll catch you guys later.